Hey guys, what's going on? Duffking56 here, back to continue my Let's Play of Yakuza Kiwami 2. Welcome, welcome back. If you remember last time, we spent more time just cleaning up stuff around the city. We're hanging out with Haruka, doing some requests, and we also did a street boss who was just behind us who we recruited to Majima Construction. So, I promise main story, you're gonna get main story. We're exploring with Haruka, and we're gonna see what happens once we finally get there. おじさん、おじさん。あれ見て。桜だよ。うん。ハルカの知り合いか。違うよ。福永桜。女優さんだよ、有名な。Hey, miss, are you there, little angel? You're the goose's golden egg diamond in the rough. I can tell. A girl like you comes around maybe once a decade. No way. More like once a century. You're a star in the making. Mister, who are you and what are you trying to get from me? Haven't you ever dreamed of being a star, angel? Becoming a real celeb? Of course you have. Everybody does. Haruka, what's going on? You this angel's daddy? I ain't nobody suspicious, so allow me to introduce myself here. I'm the president of Sotenbori Productions, friend. And that is... We're a talent agency. And sir, I say your girl here's got the wings of an angel and with our help she could learn to soar. What do you think? I can practically guarantee she'd be one of the hottest acts in Japan. A little girl like Haruka? Yeah! Say, our office is just over yonder. What do you say we have a quick chat? Let's just keep walking, Uncle Kaz. Ah, hey, a quick chat won't hurt, pal. If you're in a rush, I'd be happy to reschedule. Here, here. Let's do this. You got a cell on your pops? Sure. Thanks. Let's see here. Hey! Alrighty, that'll do it. I just gave you my direct number. When you want to see your girl shine, you just give me a call. I'll wait. You sure, Haruka? Yeah, I don't know about that. Okay, um, well, that was something. Uh, it's supposed to be amazing. Are you talking about... Oh, Kaiseki. Okay. There's a place near Big Shofukucho sign here. Let's see. The Big... Sh it's probably Komian, right? I don't think it would be... Yeah, I don't think it would be anywhere else. It's probably Komian. Let's run there. We might as well do a request on our way up. We don't need to do every request in order. There is a list of all possible requests to do. And, you know, we'll get around to them. Some of them involve things we haven't done before, so we'll try to do those as we go. But we're on our way up to continue with the main story, so we're certainly going to do that as we go as well. We want to eat as much as we can as, as well, because we want to complete all the restaurants in Sotenbori, just for completion's sake, obviously. Oh man, we took some damage there. Mr. Suda, you can't just do that to us. Come oh, on, damn it. There we go. That works. Oh, he blocked it. Very nice. This guy's pretty serious business. Too bad uh, he cannot deal with the ground and pound. I'll take the silver plate. It's actually been a while since I think we've been dropped a plate. Let's check if the Kaiseki is here. And none other than Komian. If it's not, then I'm not too worried about it either way. There's the Kaiseki. Does she just want any? Um, I'm assuming it's any of these. We'll try the special to start, though. I don't think so, actually. Yeah, <sighs> I guess I should have asked, huh? Wait, what? I probably picked the wrong one, right? The Hanari Kaiseki. I should have assumed- I'm assuming it's the most expensive one. Let's see. Hanari. Yeah, it's the most expensive one. Well, you know what? For you, Haruka, anything. Look how excited she is. Perfect. 
You're very welcome. Aw, thanks so much, Uncle Kaz. Eating proper Japanese cuisine together makes me feel like a grown-up. Look at that. Her trust for us has gone up. We're actually close to... Well, not close, but we're working our way well towards a B rank. So, we can head towards the main story and see if Hark wants to do anything on the way there. I'm not too worried one way or another. Um, but like I said, we'll do them as they come. So, let's run. Actually, I, I'm afraid... Yeah, I, I kind of messed up here. Um, well, I didn't really mess up, per se, but... Uh, probably the best way to get over to where we're so Wait, what the hell? Did I just, like, give him the slip? Ooh. Popo by the Sotenbori Taxi Shop. It's gotta be that one, right? Or is it this one? There's a couple Popos. Um, well, we'll take her this way because we need a taxi anyways. Oh, there's the big show Fukucho sign. Let's see if she wants to go to this one. And then we'll see. Time for dessert. Is the taxi shop here? It doesn't look like it, right? Um, let's see about going up north then. Hopefully she asked for that stamina and royale. Oh! We're getting a phone call. That's gotta be that dude. Hello? Well, this is Sotenbori Productions. The president, to be specific. The talent agency? Yeah, I'm calling about your little girl. How'd you get my number? I memorized it when I put my number in your phone, pal. I've got this game down, sir, and I couldn't let that little girl slip through the cracks. I don't like this. I can't get the little angel out of my head. I've got to say, this is the first time I've felt such a gravitational pull. She's going to be big. Huge, even. I've got the instincts for this. I can personally assure you that she'll live out her dreams. Can I convince you to at least hear me out? Whenever you're free, would you swing by the office with her? I'll wait. However long it takes, I'll wait. And I'll think about it. Let's see. Well, we have to talk to Haruka about this. We obviously would want to get her permission. But it looks like we're just going to go and hear her out anyways. Actually, let's see what she wants. She wants the ultimate dessert. Some pudding, okay. Pudding is very simple. We're actually friends with this guy, so... He ain't gonna cut us a nice, uh... Discount, but we'll get a pudding nonetheless. You're very welcome. Yay! Gosh, the texture's so smooth and creamy. Beautiful. Well on our way to the next rank of trust with Haruka. Let's see what else we got here. So we gotta go all the way down. I don't want to run it. I think going on foot would be a bit annoying for us, so let's go to the south here. Making traveling around the map easy for us. Let's see, we want to head up this way because we're going back to his office. Oh, who's this guy? I don't remember him. Hey, are you from Tokyo too? I'm here on business. I had some free time tonight, so I figured I'd see how the nightlife compares. The town's got so much energy, it's impressive. Really, everywhere you go is jam-packed. And the girls aren't shy at all. Almost forward even. Last night, one of them called me a company dog, and she made a collar out of my necktie. Ha ha ha. So awesome. Uh, it's so nice and comfy here, that's all I'm saying. Everyone's so real. Next time I come, it'll be for pleasure. That was like the longest bit of text that I've ever gotten in this game, from like a random NPC. Uh, huge gyoza on Sotenbori Street. Where is that? It's gotta be all the way up here, right? Yeah, so we're not gonna be able to do that. We're going to continue the main story, and we'll probably head there after. Huh? Come on, babe. Give it a damn rest. Huh? I said it before, and I'll say it again. You agents are all crooks. I did everything y'all said, and I still got no debut? Huh? Oh, don't give me that. Only reason you didn't get a debut is because you didn't put it in the effort. You know what they say, babe. The product ain't going to sell itself. It takes hard work and perseverance. Can't expect everything handed to you, right? Huh? I don't need to take this. Give it back. Give me back my money. Oh dear, we're gonna have to deal with that too. Let's talk to this lady. Hey, you heard? That girl there got took in by some frauds calling themselves a talent agency. I followed the whole star sorry tale, and that girl's dumb as bricks. As soon as the agency said they'd cover the cost, she goes and gets her teeth done, her face lifted, and of course the doctors are wise to it too. Anybody with half a lick of sense would know that. What do you youngins got between their ears these days? Her folks would hardly recognize her if they saw her in the street. A cry in shame. Well, that sounds really sucky. Let's go help this girl. It's like a sick joke. Registration fees, lesson fees, headshot costs, it all adds up. They think I'm just gonna roll over and let them take everything from me? I'm getting it back, I swear. Oh god. Can we help her at all? Can I have- 
No, no, you don't get a snack. Okay. We're probably gonna have to get our revenge this way. Wait here a sec, Haruka. Okay. We'll see if we can knock some sense on this producer. Ah, I've been waiting. Please, please, have a seat. I'm only here to let you say what you wanted to say. Don't make any assumptions. Yes, 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 and thank you for doing so. See, how it works is we'll take the young lady into our care and put her into training. Acting lessons, voice training, dance lessons. She'd learn all the tools to make her idol debut. We'd also negotiate a killer contract on her behalf. And of course, we wouldn't neglect her studies. Our girls go to only the top-notch schools in the area. Sounds awfully generous. Of course it is. We invest in her future for our modest cut down the road. And that little lady's gonna be a star. I can feel it in my bones. And if I'm being honest, we'll make back what we put into her tenfold. I'd have no regrets about spoiling her rotten now. My instincts haven't steered me wrong yet. I still can't imagine Haruka in show business. I want her to live a good, honest life. I understand that, pal. Any father would worry for his little girl. You toss her into showbiz full of those big-headed Yakuza types. I really do understand. Yakuza types, huh? Haruka's been kidnapped four times now. Even with me around to protect her. No, I'm not protecting her. I'm the very reason she's in danger. It's my fault she gets wrapped up in these things. So what do you say? Can you trust me to care for your little girl? Um... Give me some time to th- wait, I don't- Why would this be the one that you have to pick? Give me some time to think. I need some time to think about it. I understand the hesitation, I surely do. But time ain't on your side here. Before long, she'll be a real beauty, growing up in the blink of an eye. Other agencies are gonna swoop in like vultures, and I can tell you they ain't all honest. And that ain't all, pal. Say, you think it over, and say, nah, showbiz ain't for my little girl. Well, this one's gonna have troubles. You'll need a nine iron to swat all the boys off your porch. You'll look like a strong fella, but even you don't got eyes in the back of your head. But, if she got into the structured world of showbiz and the proper school that goes with it, our agency could all but guarantee she'd stay safe and focused on what matters. I should really get her opinion first. Yeah. I'd never do this without getting her feeling on the idea first. Ah, what a fine man, a great father. Don't see many parents these days who really want what their kids want. But, are you sure? As her parent, her guardian, ain't it also your job to give her the best possible future? Kids don't quite got the experience to make those kind of calls, you know? And this guy is a manipulative snake. If I had to guess by looking at you, you're a man who's tasted both the bitter and the sweet that life has to offer. Why not put that experience to good use for the future of your girl now? You might be right. This could be in Haruka's best interest. Hey, you know it is! Now, let me just draft up some paperwork. This is going to be tough. Ah! Haruka? Uh oh. Boy. Who are those guys? Ah. Fools from a rival agency. Real pieces of work, these guys. They got Omi backing, so they think they run the biz here. Come on, guys. Don't let this chump sucker you into a bum deal. Our agency will take way better care of you. Haruka. Uncle Kaz, help! Hang on, Haruka. These punks need some lessons in how to do business. Huh? The fuck? You talk pretty tough, Gramps. Oh, they're not gonna like this. First thing we're gonna do. Take the main guy out. Yep. Oh, maybe not. That's okay. But as you can see, we went into heat mode and uh, did some damage. There we go. On the ground, boys. There we go, perfect. Take him out. Man, we are kicking them all around. Beautiful. Ooh, double KO right there. We like that. Maybe not a double KO, actually. Or maybe so, I don't know, I can't really tell. I thought I got two with that, but what? Oh, damn it, we were doing so well. God, I love doing that wall punch. It feels so damn good. Perfect. Nice defeat. Wow, incredible. Now, we are about to move to contract signing, as I recall. Let's go back inside. You too, Angel. Yeah. 
What contract, Uncle Kaz? We just took the next step towards your future, Angel. You're gonna be an idol. You're gonna shine so bright, your daddy here is gonna need shades. You'll be at a top-ranked school, living like a princess. お父さんも私を捨てるの。私もう一人になりたくない。そうじゃない。俺といると、またお前に怖い思いをさせる。怖くなんかない。いつもおじさんが守ってくれたから、どうしても私を置いていくって言うなら、一人でも会いに行くよ
and fill up on other things that we probably should be. Spending money ain't gonna be a thing, because we I think we already got the spending money one. Let's go do the street boss, because by then Haruka will have cooked up one more request for us to get to rank B. And then we're just moving and grooving here. I actually really enjoy running around with her and doing stuff. It's super fun. And we haven't done the hard ones yet. I like peeked at the list of things that we need to do. Uh, okay, there we go. And I think some of them involve like gambling and stuff, so it's actually like pretty crazy. Beautiful. Perfect. 40k for that? Not bad. What does she want to do? That's actually the- where are you? Where are you? There you go. Can we try the famous ramen spot? The one with the big dragon on the roof. I think that's this way. Right? It's, uh... Kinryu Ramen, I believe. This will- I know we're going- we're back- actually, no, we're, we'd be backtracking... for steel anyway, so we can hit that up. That's fine. She's not going to change her request, I don't think, when we go into a fight. So, we're doing alright. Now, about this street boss, let's see who we're supposed to be fighting here. Oh, I love them short pants. Ukiyo the bridge guard. Halt right there, Mr. Graysuit. I've heard rumors about a dastardly ruffian prancing around town, wreaking wanton havoc with his fists like a power-drunk buffoon. I'll be darned if I let a dangerous villain like you set foot in this precious city. Turn back before I vanquish you utterly. I'm not wreaking havoc on purpose. Silence, scum. Your excuses reek of nothing but filth and lies. If you won't turn your back on your own volition, then I'll just have to make you. Now, if we can just grab him, it would be wild. There you go. I don't think we're going to be able to grab him, honestly. Ooh, that was a weird punch angle. Yeah, we didn't get the heat action option there, which is not very shocking. There we go, this should be enough. Good damage. Good damage, I think. Oh, that was close. There we go. Good parry. Oh, I love it. I love it. Good damage. There we go. Good movement. It's all about quick steps, man, clearly. There we go. Nice little jab to finish him off. We folded him! So you really weren't waltzing around aimlessly picking fights after all. I gathered that much from the valiant way you battled. I offer my humblest apologies. Please, accept this. What's he got for me? Dragon sticks? They're infinite, eh? That's actually not a bad deal, right? Um... Just get rid of the long dagger, I think? I mean, hand grenade we don't really need, right? Crowbar would be decent, I guess. I think, uh, this would be good. Got ourselves the dragon sticks, which, honestly, with infinite uh, durability, that's a pretty darn good deal. Let's see what we can do about this Nilvo Rish guy, because once again, eh, we'll see if he aggros or not. No big deal either way. It seems like it, but maybe we can get to the ramen place before he wants to come get me. We will see. Yeah, I don't think he's going to chase after me at all. Of course we have this over here, though. Alright, well... We have no choice, unfortunately. Love it. There's the Chinese Saber that we were looking for. Not enough to do any damage of the sort. Oh, wow. Jumping attack from that guy. There we go. Combo them up. Come 
Not through. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, there we go. All right. Got the double money there. Mr. Yamageshi here. There we go. Nice little uppercut to finish. Another 10k? We're gonna afford whatever Haruka wants here at the ramen shop. Now, if you just come back to me, I can do your request. <laughs> come on, Haruka. I like how the steam curls around. Yes, I'm sure you do. Let's see. The Kinryu signature. Okay. That's easily done. The Kinryu signature would probably be... I'll buy both, but... I'm assuming it's just the ramen. Yep. She enjoyed it. Thank you very much. Thanks, Uncle Kaz. The ramen really is something else, and you can choose the toppings yourself. Be rank, baby. All right, not bad, not bad. A lucky Hanafuda card. We'll probably end up needing that when we play Hanafuda. And with that, I believe that kind of takes us to our next little spot here. We're looking right at the steel bar for the next part of our sub... Well, main story, not sub story. This has been another episode of my Yakuza Kiwami 2 Let's Play. My name is Duffking56. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys later. Peace out.